What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. Um, in this video, after we learn how to add sanitary plumbing fixtures, so this time around, in this exercise, we are going to create our sanitary system. So this is the first of three exercises that will guide you through creating the piping for men's room sanitary plumbing system. So in this exercise, we are going to create a sanitary system consisting of the toilets, a urinal, and a floor drain, which we, uh, which what we have placed last video, if you remember. So these are the plumbing fixtures that we have added. So we have one urinal, wall hang, uh, urinal, and then we have a couple of uh, toilets here, and then we have uh, drain, okay? So we are going to use Revit MEP's uh, layout path tools to create slope piping to connect the fixtures to a sanitary outlet so we'll be creating it automatically but on our next video i'm going to show you how to do it manually okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a sanitary plumbing system okay um let me just open the 3d view here the 3d plumbing so i'm going to open that so there's our 3d view okay and then this is our level one. So I'm going to select the tile views here to tile the view. Okay, so I have the floor plan here and then I have here the 3D view. Okay, so I'm gonna open here the system browser. So as you can see, we don't have yet a system here created. So all of the seven items is inside the unassigned folder. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here on the 3D view, I'm going to select all these plumbing fixtures Okay, and then after that, if you look at the create systems panel here, you can see that you can create piping, right? So you just need to create that, just click that one. And then after that, there is a dialog box that will pop up. So you have the system type here, sanitary. Okay, if you click the drop down arrow, you also have other. Okay, so the fixtures that we have selected have all sanitary connectors. So the create sanitary system is available. So all of the fixtures except for the drain also have cold water connectors. So if you deselected the drain, the cold water system option would be also available. Like for example, if I'm going to cancel this and then I select only the two toilets and then the urinal if i select the piping here if i click the drop down you can see now there the domestic cold water okay but i want to create a sanitary piping system for these four plumbing fixtures so i'm going to select and then i select the piping and then let us just put a name here okay so let's say since this is space 107 i'll just name it space 107 or sanitary 107 okay and then just select OK. And you will notice once I select Open here or OK, you will see on the system browser, you will now be going to have one system created here. So you see if I select OK, OK, there you go. So I now have here one system. So if I uh, 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 expand that one, so you can see that I now have the Sanitary 107 system that consists of these four plumbing fixtures right okay so this is one good way of using your system browser because it uh, detects or it monitors all the plumbing fixtures that is already assigned to a system or that is not yet assigned to the system so th so you can use the system browser for monitoring okay so after that the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create physical connections Okay, so how to create a physical connection. So on my level one plumbing plan, so I'm going to select one of the plumbing fixture here. So let's say the drain. Once you select the drain, you can now check the layout panel here. There's an option, generate layout. So I'm going to select generate layout now. Okay, and then you can now see here a preview of the piping layout or the display of your piping layout but this is not yet done so this is just like a preview now what i'm gonna do is i want to create here a vertical pipe for the system to connect into and establish a source or an outlet for flow 
which is this tool here, place base. So it's like you are creating a stack or a vertical pipe for the system to connect into. So I'm going to select the place base. Okay, and then I'm going to place it here. So I want to place it here. And then you can now see a preview here on your uh, 3D view as well, right? And then you can also see here some orange, meaning there will going to be a problem here. Although you can still modify it manually. Okay, so that's all right. But you will also notice that if I change the diameter, so let's say I want the diameter to be uh, 4 inches. So I change that to 4 inches. Again, it will update, right? And then you will now notice that the that the problematic pipe here will going to be disappeared because we have changed the size of the pipe. I also want to change the offset here. Okay, so let's say I want that to be negative value. Okay, so I want to have a minus, uh, let's say, 4 feet. Okay, so I'll type minus 4. So meaning that pipe will go minus 4. There you go. So again, we're, we have here a problematic uh, pipe. But don't worry, okay? The elevation of the base with relation to the other components in the system is very critical. So the elevation is specified low enough to allow sloping of the sanitary piping in the system. So let's modify our base here or the, the system. So to do that, let's go to solution. Okay, and let's change the solution type. Okay, so instead of network, I'm going to change that to intersections. And I want this to be, as you can see, we have seven solution. I want let's say okay so how about two okay so i want the two solution here two of seven and i'm gonna change the settings so i select the settings here so the main pipe that is the blue pipe there. that's the blue pipe so i'm gonna change that to instead of minus four i'll just make it minus one foot okay and then for the branch same with the branch minus one foot Okay, and then I select OK. And there you go. So there's no more problematic pipe here. So as you can see, it's only blue and green. The green is the branch pipe. The blue is the main pipe, right? Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to edit this pipe here. I want this pipe to be aligned to this uh, pipe here like this, to this direction. So I want this pipe to be moved here. So I'm going to select um, Edit Layout. Let's edit the layout, and then you can do that here on the floor plan view. I'm going to click one of the pipe, and then I can click that four directional arrow, and then I'll drag that and align that to this direction. And I go to the 3D view, and I'll just edit this pipe here. I'll drag that to align vertically to that pipe and same with this pipe here let's drag that and there you go okay so this is the layout that I want okay right and let us now finish the layout and there you go let me just cancel this one all right there you go okay so if ever the direction of your fitting although the direction of my fitting here is correct as you can see, the direction of the T-fitting is to this direction. So it's already correct. But if ever you created a pipe whose fittings is different or the direction is uh, incorrect, you can just click that fitting and then you can click this flip tool here. If you click that, you can see it changes the direction of the fitting. But like what I have said, this is already the correct direction. Because if I'm going to select this pipe here, Okay, so as you can see, I didn't uh, place a slope here. So there is no slope to this pipe. Okay, so we need that slope. Okay, because in practice, you really need to place a slope to your sanitary pipe. So what I'm going to do, I'll just undo one step. Oops, sorry. I think couple, three. Okay, so I undo to go back again to the uh, editing of the layout. So I'll go to the solution. And then I put a slope here because I forgot to put a slope. So I'm going to put a slope of 
one eighth of an inch per one foot. So I select that one. And then I'll, uh, I think it's all good now. So we now have a slope. So I'm not going to finish this one. There you go. Okay, so if I'm going to select this pipe, so we now have a slope there. So as you can see, the slope is going down to this direction, right? In the 3D view, so our slope is going to this direction here, right? So which is correct. So if I select that, so the slope is correct. So the slope is correct, right? There you go. So basically, that's how you create a sanitary system and generate your uh, pipe layout. Okay, so on our next video, so what we are going to do is um, we are going to add sink to the sanitary system. Okay, so we are going to continue with the work from, the, from this exercise. We are going to add sink to our men's room and manually create the piping that connects them to our sanitary system. But for now, thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.